So what is a loop? Well, you know, a loop is pretty much something that allows you to go back on the same code multiple times. Uh, we have two types of loops. We have four and we have while well, loops. Let's talk about for loops. So a for loop is structured like so. So for and then let's start with an integer int x is equal to actually int i is a better one zero and then let's say i is less than ten i plus plus. All right, so this is the structure for most for loops. Um, they can be changed. So again, I'll have the um, description of what that does. So for this part, it's pretty much you're setting an integer i is equal to zero. So you're starting at point zero, and then you're making sure that i is not <clears throat> longer or um, greater than 10. Once this reaches, once this condition is no longer true, we'll exit out of the loop. So we can do a lot of things here. We can print, we can literally just print i uh, to show you that it will go from 1 to 9. So and then we'll write i, and this will run 0 through 9. Yeah, 0, because we're starting at 0. So we're printing. 0 through 9. We can also do things like, uh, let's say int x equal to 0, and then int x equals, let's do that above actually. And I, mean, I don't need to declare x again since I already did, so let's do x plus equals i. And then let's write what i is. So right line and then the sum is, and then we're going to do, we're going to print x every time. So we're going to print 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, until 9, because it's printing um, the i first, and then we're going to print the sum is, and it's just going to add up all the i's. So it's going to add up 1 through 9, pretty much. Um, there's multiple things we can do. Uh, here we can have different uh, conditions start different places. This can be um, almost any condition as long as we don't get into an infinite loop. So let me write then avoid infinite loops. You'll know when you have one because you will.